Hey, this is Dr. Fast here, and in this video I will show you how to use this Harbor Freight digital torque adapter to check the accuracy of your torque wrench. And if you saw my last video, I did a full review on how to use this device and turn any ratchet into a torque wrench by using this device. And I'll put a link to that video at the end of this one. Now, I have in front of me several torque wrenches I own. Uh, this is a half inch torque wrench. This is a 3 8 inch. This is also a half inch. And these two at the back here, the chrome one, these two are from Harbor Freight. And you can uh, see in a little while the accuracy of those Harbor Freight uh, torque wrench. So let's get started and I'll show you how to set this up. I thought about what is the best and easy way to demonstrate this to everyone so that you can do this at home without using a vise or apparatus or a special jig. And then after thinking about it, I thought, well, most of the guys watching this video are do-it-yourselfers. Uh, you want to work on your car at home. And so you would have a vehicle. And on the vehicle, you have lug nuts. The lug nuts will be perfect for doing this type of test because most of the lug nuts out there are tightened to 75 to 90 foot-pounds. And with that range, you can test your torque wrench at 30 foot-pounds, 40 foot-pounds, 60 foot-pounds. As long as you're not testing the torque wrench above what the lug nuts are torqued to. So this is how I would set it up. Go ahead and turn on your torque adapter. Press the power button in the middle. And make sure it is set to peak reading. So again, the P and the T up there. One is trace. The other one is peak. So right now it's trace, and if I hit it again, it'll be peak, and you want the peak setting. The next thing you want to set is a unit of measure. So depending if you're measuring a new meter or foot-pounds, uh, right now currently it's set to foot-pounds, but if you want to change that, press the M button at the bottom here and the PT button at the top, and that will scroll through a different unit of measure. I'm going to measure this with the foot-pound measurement. You get your socket and attach it to the torque adapter. The next thing is take your torque wrench and set it to a value that you want to test it at. In this case, I'm going to test it at 70 foot-pounds. So if you can see here, that's set to 70 foot-pounds. Now connect the torque wrench to the top of the torque adapter, like so. Put it into one of the lug nuts and then in one smooth motion tighten it until you hear a click. Once you hear a click, you stop. So as you can see, the torque wrench that's set to 70 foot-pounds is registering 72.4 foot-pounds on the torque adapter. You need to repeat this test probably three or four times to get a good sample so you know the accuracy of the torque wrench compared to the torque adapter. This time is 71.2 also 71.2 and just make sure when you're pressing on the torque wrench, you do it slowly. Don't do too fast because that will affect the reading. 71.8. Now typically most torque wrenches do have an accuracy of about 3%. And depending on the range on the low end and the high end, the um, error is going to be a little higher. So keep that in mind. So here I have the Harbor Freight half inch torque wrench and I've also set this to 70 foot-pounds and I'm going to put this over the lug nut and slowly tighten this until it clicks and then stop 72.4 and 
do one more. This time is 70.7. .7. So that's pretty good. So let me show you how to test a 3 8 inch torque wrench. So what you need is this type of adapter is a 3 8 inch on one end to half an inch on the other end. And then connect this up. And that way you can connect the torque adapter onto here like this. Then turn this on. And we need to change the unit of measure to newton meter. Right now it's still foot pounds. So again we'll press the M and the PT until you get NM, Newton meter. And on this torque wrench, I've gone ahead and set this to 22.25 new meter. So now, put this onto one of the lug nuts and tighten this. Once it clicks, you stop. And as you can see, it's 21.9. Do it a couple more times. That was 21.6, 21.7. You may also want to test the torque wrench at different range. So you can set this to the lower range, the middle, and the higher range. So it gives you an idea of the accuracy of this torque wrench throughout its entire range. So now that you know how to test the accuracy of the torque wrench, if yours came out to be very accurate within, you know, a 3 or 4 percent error, um, then you don't have to do anything. However, some of you might have a torque wrench that is uh, quite a bit off, say if it's 15 foot-pounds off. Uh, you have two options. One is you can continue using it, but understand that, you know, yours is off by 15 pounds and you have to factor that in so that when you set the torque wrench you include the difference that you measured previously so that you compensate for that. The second option is to adjust the calibration on this. Now this part you gotta be very careful because if you mess things up it can be worse than what it started with. So I will show you how these are done uh, and these are the two types I have here on hand. These two are pretty common on the market. So let me first talk about this type of torque wrench. And to adjust this type of torque wrench, at the end of the handle, there's a plastic cap like this. Get a little screwdriver and remove the cap. Inside here, you have a big nut. That's like a lock nut. Inside the middle, is like a set screw that will fit an Allen wrench. So what you want to do is get yourself a long needle nose and grab that nut and then loosen this. Once you loosen that, you don't have to take it all the way out, just loosen it a little bit. Then use an Allen wrench and turn this slightly. Don't turn it too much. Don't give it a full turn. You may want to just turn it like a quarter turn or even less. Lock that nut back on afterwards and test it. It'll take a bit of time. But you want to do these incremental changes so you engage which way is going. Now typically when you turn the set screw clockwise, you actually tighten up the spring inside so you're increasing the torque reading. And then if you were to turn this counterclockwise, you're loosening that spring you decrease the, uh, the torque. Okay. With the Harbor Freight type of uh, torque wrench, what you want to do is get pliers, one holding on to the handle, and the other one, you're going to loosen this big nut at the end here on the handle. So go ahead and loosen that, and slowly remove this. Now once you remove this, this collar here can be rotated and that will change the calibration 
on this torque wrench. Again, clockwise will tighten the spring inside to tighten the torque, and then counterclockwise is going to loosen that spring to give you less torque. One thing to note is that if you find that this adjustment screw is very tight, is not easy to move, what you want to do is first back down the torque setting on the handle to a lower value so that there's not much compression on the spring inside this torque wrench and then that will allow you to turn this ever so slightly okay and then when you're done make sure you put this locking nut back on tighten this back up so I hope uh, you found this video helpful and uh, if you have any questions I'll leave a comment below and if you like the video please subscribe thank you for watching